Hey Stampers, welcome back to Did You Stamp Today with Amanda Mertz. Today I'm just going to show you how to put together this cute fun fold card with this little uh, long skinny label tab buckle closure. It's got a little bit of Velcro tab there to keep it closed, but just a little fun way to change up the regular fold that you might normally do. You're going to start with a card base that's seven and a half by five and a half and you're going to score at four and a quarter that gives you that nice fold right there you can have a piece of designer series paper your insert and then these two labels that we're going to use as the tabs and they were cut using the seasonal labels die and then all my stamped pieces which i stamped using the christmas season stamp set that's the full stamp set right there so first you're just going to cut these two tabs and then you're going to score one end at one and a quarter and just give that a little fold. All right, make sure you stamp your insert first so you don't have any oopses once you have it inserted inside. So once it's in, it's in. We're going to be using some tear tape, a little bit of tear tape on the side of the part that you scored on the buckle tab buckle I don't know what to call it I don't know if I've ever seen this exact style there's different kinds of buckle cards maybe a tab closure we could call it tab closure card anyway put your adhesive a little bit of tear tape it doesn't matter which side you start with if you do your insert or your um, designer series paper first you're going to use them both to line up. All right, this one I'm just gonna put just a little bit above the halfway mark. I'm gonna fold it in, make sure it looks straight. Hopefully it's straight. I'm gonna stick my head over the camera to see. All right, add the rest of your adhesive. You don't want it to be pulling out since there is a moving element. Just line that up inside your card. And I just wanted to point out on this card, I stamped some images over to the side. So then when it's closed, you'll be able to see a little bit more color coming out on this strip. So you can do whatever you want, but I made sure that the words were covered when the flap is closed, but I thought it was nice to have a little bit of greenery sticking out the sides. All right, next. So we're going to do the same thing to the side that has the designer series paper. And so we're just going to kind of line it up, make sure our two tabs. That one's pretty good. Just want to make sure it's straight. All right. Press that one down and then you can put the rest of your adhesive on and we made this card at my stamp club the other day and all of my stampers seem to really enjoy kind of a new a new style a little different than what we normally do had a little bit of a fun element with the buckle. Right, I gotta get this line back up. So, do what I say and not what I do, right? It's easy enough to straighten back up. A little higher. Once you get it in, in the place, it's pretty easy. I know it doesn't look like it, it but it is, I promise. There we go. And then next we're going to use a little bit of little bitty Velcro tabs. These I just picked up at a craft store. So I'm sure whatever your local craft store is, you can use it. But just there's two different sides. Pick whichever one you want. Press it down. Match them up. Press it down. And then when you line this one up, so they'll be the right spot each side. So there's that. Here's my greenery and my pine cones that I've already stamped and cut out. And we're just going to add a little bit of adhesive 
just on the stem and a little flower. You just want to make sure when you're doing this that you don't get adhesive too high on your elements. That one's a little bit high. We can kind of rub that one off, but you don't want it to stick to the card front because you want it to be able to be moved and open up. Got a little bit of a red berries here. We're gonna do our little pine cone. Just a little bit of adhesive. Right there, we're gonna do our big pine cone. Right there. And just hand cut this. There's a label that matches this one in the die set, but since my stampers had already die cut a ton at class, didn't want them to get tired of standing at the die cutter. So just do a quick little fussy cut. Do some mini dimensionals. There we go. And again, remember you don't want to have your anything that's adhering. You want to keep it all on one side of the flap. Hear my dog scratching. They clearly did not look at my sign that says shh recording. And we're gonna do that right there. And the last, if I can get it open, we'll do some gilded gems to decorate. So let's do a big one, a medium one, and a small one. Oops. And of course, gotta have a little bit of twine, linen thread, twine. Just, I always tie mine right on the roll so then I can adjust it and make sure I definitely have enough and then not waste any. And let's see, where do I wanna put that one? Anyone notice the glue dots? Have, they're like on the opposite side of the roll from where they used to be. They come off on this side instead of staying on that. Confused me so much the first time I pulled one out. I thought I had a whole roll with just the paper and no glue dots because it was all on that side. Can you see that right there? They used to come on this side. So as you unrolled them, you would see them that way. This way is a little bit harder, I think. But uh, I'm an old dog. It's hard to learn new tricks. I've had the same style for a while. Let's see. Mm, I don't like that. Which way should it go? Right here in the end. There we go. So there we go. Little tab fold. Open it up. And there you go. So definitely tag me if you try to make this style of card. Again, it's the card base is seven and a half by five and a half, score at four and a quarter, and that gives you your flap. And then cut your two tabs, the long label in the, um, it's this one, the long label from the seasonal labels die set, and score that at one and a quarter. Thanks so much, have a great day.